What's up everybody and today we are playing Black Ops 3 Part 2. Um, the first episode wasn't that eventful if I'm honest with you. I know this is a very controversial game in the community and I know a lot of people want to see my opinion and that's why it won the poll. The first episode was, it was okay. It wasn't amazing, it wasn't rubbish. Um, so we'll just see how it goes here from out. Hopefully, hopefully it gets better. Hopefully it gets better. But before we get started, as per usual, members, you're amazing. I love you. I couldn't do this without you. Links down below to all my socials, including the two links to Discord. The military link, all things strictly military, like getting fit for the military and all that good stuff. And then the geek Discord, which is all things geeky, like SCP, Warhammer, Halo, Metro, D&D, and everything in between. Um, also, links down below to my podcast and my Twitch stream, where I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, which means if you're watching this live during the premiere, I am live right now now and you have incentive to come over because not only we're we playing borderlands 3 for the first time as a group um we're going to be using the twitch uh i don't know what it's called extension where you guys get to put in mini bosses in the game with your name on it trying to beat us and stuff it's going to be a ton of fun i also might wear this so we will see head over to twitch right after this it'll be a ton of fun and if you can't make it by the way to the twitch streams we're going to be uploading the twitch streams here from out onto my second channel original human geek which you'll find a link down below so if you cannot make the twitch streams there will be a chance to rewatch it on my second channel okay uh but for now let's shut up and let's uh let's play some black ops 3 resume game let's go where am i it's okay calm down just relax i've already done this be fine I've already done this. Smarter than achieved our objectives. And I'll skip it. Okay, we've already done that. There we go, okay. Sending his location to your HUD. Roger. Come on now. Pick Skills. up the trail. Ooh. I'm starting to like you. The gameplay is good. Heads up. Hostile second. Probably just switch to my other weapon instead of reloading when I get in trouble. Would you like to see a Warzone version in futuristic like this? Would you like to see that? A futuristic Warzone? Whoa. That's cool. Our boys hacking the ZSF talents. What does that tell you? He's running scared, not sitting behind a computer. Yeah, he could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. The shooting's good in this. I'll give you that. The movement's very quick. It's like very, very fast action, which isn't a bad thing. He's gonna get away if you don't pick up the pace. Son of a bitch is still moving. Where we go in, this way is following the Use that billboard to get over the maglev train. He's heading into old Zurich. Move. Alright, activating a new cyber ability. System paralysis. I don't really know what I did then. Ooh! Yeah, let's keep going. Nice to see you, Aiden. Nice going, new blood. Go. Nice going. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. They take a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD. Watch. Take them down. All right, where are we going, mate? Roger. Going up. You got potential. I know I do. Can I shoot him? All right. Looks like they've been taking tips from Titanfall. Him, new blood. Now's your chance. Take him down. Boom. Nice. 
and then we just killed him by falling through that. I hope. It didn't work out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition. Hold on. Is that the actress who, um... You see the full five commander in the top right corner from when I used to play this online. Uh, I never played it multiplayer. I'm um, sorry, uh, story, but I think I played it online for a little bit. The actress, is she the the woman who plays uh, Bo-Katan in the new Star Wars? Let me look at this real quick. Do you, do you know who I mean? If you watch the new Mandalorian, um, what's this called? Black Ops 3? And her name is what? Hal? Hail? Or something? Or something like that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Either way, it looks like it, doesn't it? Do you know who I mean? The girl who plays Bo-Katan? I've got to... F this is going to... Mando. This is going to annoy the crap out of me if I don't see it. Hey, where'd you go? Mandalorian. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I've got to find this. I've got to find this. Where's Bo-Katan? Oh, don't be that hard to find. Come on, don't be a turd. There she is. Katie Sackoff. Is that her? Black Ops. She's in Black Ops 4. Black Ops 3, Sarah. He yeah, it's her. Holy crap. Fuck. He doesn't her. have to. He has a DNI. Incredible. I knew I recognized Buried somewhere. beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. Okay. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. Okay. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. Okay. I'm sensing a butt coming up somewhere. You should know. They kill him? Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Yeah. Dead. So he'll be dead, yeah. Okay. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. Did it, did it, log it into someone's brain. Not a big deal. <laughs> what do we find? I don't know. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? Everything. I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. If he says train well, goes boom one more time. I took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. This guy's so annoying. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. This guy's so annoying. I think it's time we moved on. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? Uh, you gotta at least like the characters. <laughs> We're taking heavy fire! Back up, back up! ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. Okay. They're sick. They really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet D has a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, Specialist huh. Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. Okay. Remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over? You owe me a hundred. <laughs> Back to business. I'll pass on that, as mate. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Okay. Let's do some damage. Let's do it. Whoa. How do I do it? We got a new sniper ability to play with. Immolation. Give a spin on those enemies ahead. He's toast. Dude, I like it. 
it has to recharge. Oh, I like this weapon. We'll make a no recoil at all. Is that off? Boom. Robot goes boom. Shooting, mate. Stuff. Ooh, I like the reloading of that. That's cool. Boom. You got this. Yeah, I like the shooting in this. Like I said, I have played the online mode for this a long time ago. I remember. I never played the story. And I don't know why that was a thing to be called you in. You select your loadout. I'd get them and just play. Use these systems to seize the tactical advantage, whatever the opposition. Okay, I've loaded a second cyber ability into your core. Fireflies, a swarm of incendiary nanobots. Let them loose and see what they can do. Okay. Interesting. Not bad, new blood. Kind of traumatize him, but sure. Yeah, I was gonna say they look pretty lethal to me. I remember playing the online, getting frustrated with it, and never playing it again. And I don't know why. I can't remember why. But looking back now, I don't know whether it's because I, I play more FPS games now because of the channel, because of you guys. I don't know whether it's because of that, but I seem to be able to handle this a lot better. The more abilities you, know? you have, the more fun you can have. Try switching between them. I just want to use these uh, nasty beetles. That's how you get shit done. Actually, there's a lot of robots over there. Maybe I'm just better at FPS games these days, and that, that's why I can handle it better. You know? I really like the animation of the weapons. Hell yes! Wait, wait, go back. Can I? So I can't actually do anything about it just yet. Like I can't change anything. Change that? Why not? You have to let me know in the comments what are the best weapons. Hack that, Mr. Hackerman. Mr. Hackerman, good lad. They're using smoke grenades. Switching to your EV helps whenever you're blind, whether in the dark or in smoke. Oh, I like it. That? Now you never have to worry about what's lurking in the darkness. Nice work. Now we got fight. I like it. Oh, that's me, mate. How'd you get in front of me? We're clear. Deactivate your EV. I've been using many grenades and stuff, have I? Why not shoot it? Oh, shot that stupid thing and blew myself up like an absolute fool. Them robots are pretty hard to kill. I like that that thing kills other people around him as well. Big fan of that. Okay, I do like the explosion one. 
Especially because the robots are harder to kill than people anyway. Incoming. I feel like the uh, killing the robots. I'm sorry, killing the people is going to be more like crowd control than anything. Party else. ain't over yet. Let's move. I got bots moving that rail car. Shred them. Them robots are really difficult to kill. I wonder if there's an easier way to do it. I got bots moving that rail car. Shred them. We'll make a soldier out of you yet. There we go. Getting the jump on his key. Snipes up there or something? I feel like I need to prioritize the robots, killing the robots more than anything else. That's how you get shit done. They're much more difficult to kill than anything else. The sound of that handgun is incredibly therapeutic. I like it a lot. Not bad, new blood. Some good shooting there. Where's that? Go for it. Let's go. Looks like they got into the water treatment plant through here. On me. Let's try a different weapon. No, nope. you know I don't like shotties. All right, let's go. That other weapon was good, but I want something that's got a little bit more oomph against. Keep your fucking head down. You may be a badass, but you're not immortal. Bullet to the head, I'll still get you a date with your maker. Rog. Right. Nice work. Well, this is good. It's got a bit of range to it. Not much recoil. You can get real accurate with these guns. How's on the work floor? I want to take them out. Should have picked the sniper up, shouldn't I? I really should have picked that snipes up. Probably would have been wise. That's fine. This weapon's good. I like this one. I think this might be my favorite. Next to no recoil. So happens to be walls perfectly made to run along. Classic. <clears throat> if it respawns me back, I'm gonna get a snipe. The water treatment plant through here. Yep. On me. <coughs> Defo gonna get the snipes in this one, eh? He snipes his back, guys.
This snipes is good. If anyone hasn't seen my sniping on Warzone on the Twitch stream, you're missing out. I've been hitting some absolute bangers recently. How's on the work for? Like some real good shots on Warzone. I think just playing so much FPS games with you guys on here has just really improved my ability to uh, to play these games and just adapt to them really quickly. I love the snipes. I think I'd like a futuristic war zone. But I uh, know I kind of like the way it is right now though. I'd like both. Why not both? Why not both? You know? Give me both. We'll make a soldier out of you yet. Oh yeah. Pick up weapons. Good hunting. Interface with that door for me. How do I do it? That's not how you do it. I thought I was able to do it from a distance. What is this place? This. This is where it all went down. The computer over there should give us some insight into how oh. they got the explosives on board. Okay. Go interface. Must be a hacker man again. Okay. Cargo car. Lots of robots. All the explosives. show how they got it on it just shows bombs on the train it's the robots they hacked the security robots uh, they brought the explosives on board okay so they hacked the robots that brings the explosives on board interesting i'm on the train you want to hear something ironic the reality was the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the winslow accord neural network initiative and if it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one Probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier program. Okay. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. Okay. You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust Dodge. me. They'll consider you as much. Takedown is another one of your cyber abilities. Try it out on those bots. Watch your flank. They're coming through the windows. Nice takedown. Right on the button. Okay, I don't mind that. That's a really cool way to load a shotgun. Get stuffed. Punching the leg. All these civvies just sat here chilling. If this was I think real, cool. you'd be killing civs left and right. Yeah. <laughs> he knows me too well. I just, uh... I always end up killing a civet, committing war crimes. It's what we do on this channel. Oh, I like that it just so happens to bring up cover. Jump first, do I? Yeah, all right, come on, take your time. Boom. Oh, yes, you're a force of fucking nature. <laughs> you let me in? 
now. The neural network prototype is in the car right below you. Maybe shield by signature for CNT, but that won't mean anything when the bomb goes off. I tell you what, this you game does a good job of making you feel like you're really good at the game. Even though you might just be average, you know? It's one of the things where you feel like you're really good when you play the campaign. And then as soon as you go in multiplayer, you just get your ass handed to you every time. You know? That's my life. That's literally my life. Keep pushing up. You've almost located the explosive. Ow! Oh, I knew I was going to die then. God damn it. You die so quickly on this. All right. The neural network prototype is in the car right below you. It may be shielded by six inches of CNT, but that won't mean anything when the bomb goes off. You better pick up the pace. Quite a distance. Boom. How you doing guys? Get in. Alright, so To wall zone. I'm not that bad. I get some cheeky snipes every now and again. I killed Nick Merce. Well, Nick Merce. The whole thing's well, booby trap. I really did. I sniped him in the end. Try to move it or detach the car. It's gonna blow. It's too much. Even with the computer in my head, it's not enough time. Just to pick myself up a little bit. You know what I mean? It's actually very No big very deal. Simple. No big deal. Wait. This is a maglev trap. If I reverse the polarity on just this car. Boom. Train. There was no way to stop it and get off the train. Your DNI might show you all the options, but only you can decide what you're willing to sacrifice. Okay. Sometimes you have to let go. Let it go. Let it go. Taylor, how's our patient? As good as can be expected. I expect better. Is this dude? You should know that. Welcome back. I'm being prepped for surgery now. Okay. Be okay. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe you felt guilty for leaving me. Maybe that's what it was. The prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. Thailand. We're getting some good places here. Before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues Ooh. of diplomatic negotiations. Okay. The WA have denied sending Kenya. troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. Damn, we're going we places. We are coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Hendricks? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. Going through all the things we did together. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. Go with the flow. I just go with the flow. Okay. Cool. Leveling up. Cool beans. I have no idea what I'll meant. Data Vault. Collectibles. Interesting. 
Wardrobe? I can view outfits? Oh. Hell yeah, I'm gonna wear one of these. Although it doesn't look like it's loaded in very well. Is it? There we go. Holy crap. T take your time. Look at that one. Is that like crappy camouflage? Is that not loaded in either? Is it going to take ages for the texture to pop in? There we go. Holy crap. I'm on an Xbox Series X as well, guys. Service records. None. Okay, so we've got hey. like... Hendrix. Where are we again? Singapore. One of my favorite places. Nice. Apart from all the ones I actually like. We've got an appointment with our new LNO inside the quarantine zone. I can unlock... Oh, I've got seven things to unlock. Okay. Cheeky snipes. Which is better. Fire rate's higher. Accuracy is not as higher. Range is better. Damage isn't as good. Oh, the damage is shit on that one. That could be good. The Pharaoh. Let's try it out. And then sidearms. Guess we keep that. Ooh. Do five minutes to lock on weapons to pick up and use any weapon found on the battlefield. That could be helpful. That could be really helpful. Um, limb optimization micro twisters make it possible to run along walls. Since we, I'm gonna use this one. And then what are these crazy things? Take an extra lethal. I might as well use them both, Anna. So I'll take an extra lethal and then an extra attachment. I don't know which one. Increase the fire, reduce the car while laying down. Let's do that. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. This is a CIA op. This weapon, is their safe house. Weapon builder? What? I'm glad you remember. I don't know what I did about I hope you also remember how I feel about the CIA watching over our every move. Uh, right. They're always watching Hendrix, you should know that. Next mission, let's do it. Hey, I where's my helmet? Here with age. Where was my helmet? There it is, there we go. It's a very sh I like that they're using this hub style. They used it on um, Infinite CIA Warfare when I didn't get through that get through that game. Set up in the wake of the scene. I like that. The station was tasked with keeping an eye on the local operations. Okay. Since the wall went up and the authorities abandoned evacuation efforts, the place has been pretty much run by the dominant criminal organization, the 54 Immortals. Tell me what you got from the CIA. The data package covered the whole sordid history. Explosion at the old coalescence facility killed 300,000. Okay. Evacuation and reclamation efforts were abandoned in the wake of the superstorm. So what's so important here that the CIA has to send us in to investigate? The Immortals have known links to the CDP and its ally. Weapons and tech smuggling mostly. Okay. No wonder the CIA are Let's do this. Still trying to keep that... I feel like that text thing, how they kind of change it every now and again, is literally the only thing that's connecting these Black Ops games together now. Like, they're so far apart, and there's nothing that's even common between any of them. Oh, man. I can't even begin to tell you how good this tastes. After those nasty MREs we've been living on, this tastes like heaven. Cool. You know, you could get a mod that makes everything taste good. If I did that, I'd never get to appreciate the real thing. Not fucking around, are we? What's well, the right, weapon I just made? As as we go. Look at the graphics, holy crap. All right, let's get to work. Yeah, hey, Rog, it's incredible. And this lawless shithole, we 
can actually feel good about our by any means necessary mandate. Watch. When the full force of the storm hits, we'll be looking at 150 mile per hour winds. Okay, well, let's uh... take this. We wouldn't want you to get blown away. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. Kane, moving in to scramble the 54 Immortals communication systems. Copy that, Hendrix. A freedom and oh, I've lost my weapon already. Along the way. The Immortals have already breached the Black Station. They're prepping a shipment for transport. Where'd that the weapon go? Why would the Immortals attack a shanty town? Well, they must have had something that they wanted. If sensitive materials fall Weird. into the hands of the CDP, it could prove extremely damaging to the Winslow Accord. We're awaiting confirmation on a drone strike, but I need you to move to intercept. Holy. Have to be 100% sure. Understood. Understood. We're on our way. Why am I walking? Activity ahead. Stay low. Roger. Let's go get him. Okay. These are the immortal dudes, whatever they call themselves. Oh yeah, look at my gear. Look at this thick boy. The Immortals run a well-established trade in human flesh. They sell people for whatever purpose you may want them. That's why they attack the shanty town. Damn. What are they strapping to his neck? The collar makes sure they can't get away. That sucks. As if the environment's oh, like really good, but the character models aren't that good. A lot we can do here. Like that character model isn't that good. We can kill this son of a bitch. Gotta get to cover. Follow me. Heads up. We got a technical entering the area. Holy crap. Clear him out, double time. Explosives ain't doing shit. His armor's too tough. Hit him with the swarm launcher. Hit him with the what? Holy crap. Holy crap, that's hard, like straight off the bat. Hit him with the swarm launcher. Kill the rest of them. Let's nice stick, boy. Okay. So what do I do then? Explosives aren't doing anything, then what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? If explosives can't do anything. Hit him with the swarm launcher. The swarm launcher? I haven't got a swarm launcher. What is he talking about? Come on! Take that bastard out! I'm on it. This thing? No, that's not it, right? So this won't let me do it. I wanted to, I wanted to trigger that um turn that off. Is 
this thing that bad? Oh my days. Okay. Now what then? I've only got overdrive. I've got a Granada I could use. I literally have no idea what to do. Go up any further. How do I change? I haven't got anything else. So this is me picking up other people's weapons, but. Hi. I have no idea what to do. Holy. Son of a bitch. Okay. Immortals can lay their hands on pretty much any weaponry and gear out there. The Superstorm's winds are gonna hit harder as we move to higher ground. Get ready to plant that bull driver and hold the fuck on. Tell me when it's gonna happen. It says hold old X to uh, get yourself to hold on. weapon I gotta go that way ways are gonna be a problem keep that full driver handy well that was easy I'm just hopping along now in the water Oh, I did that in time, didn't I? Water got me. Was it the water that got me? This is a difficult mission. That too soon. Good. 
can't shoot his arm off. Why are you standing in open ground? Well, I'm standing in open ground right now. So that makes sense. Recover, 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 recover. There we go. I just want to be able to see people. Buddies. Boom. I like it. A bit cheating though, isn't it really? Tactical mode. Wait, he's hitting now. Use your ball driver. Let's go. Going in this. I never thought I'd say that. Let's get closer. No! Ah! No! <laughs> it's doing so well. Where's it gonna put? Oh, Storm's really? getting worse. This AO is gonna be non-viable real soon. Oh, it's run out. Well, let me go and get some ammo real quick. me you turds. I don't know whether they know how much of an absolute boss I am. Thank you. 
cheeky flank. All clear. <laughs> Ooh, that was cheeky. That was cheeky. Now where do I go? Clear, but now what? What does it say? Let's have a contact with the black station. Oh, wait, an update. Don't fall. Oh, I thought it was going to fall down there. There he is. Taking his sweet time, mate. I'm over here killing everyone. Sat back doing now. Come on. Kane, we've reached the cargo. Now what? I need you to interface. I'll use your DNI to extract and delete the intel. Roger. You can do that? Your DNI is connected to our central database. I don't want to supply All story. Are logged and tracked. It's gotta be this thing, right? Yeah, knew it. Knew it. Classical Call of Duty. Files secured and redacted. Okay. The storm's getting worse. It's pushing a derelict tanker right toward you. Let's Good. get out. Thanks, Kane. I'll take the upper deck. You take the lower. Ready? Oh, we're breaching? Okay. I feel like we'd be deaded. Okay, why am I not moving my arms at all? Kane, we're approaching the comm center. We'll update when we cleaned house. Better make it fast. Rog. We're already getting word that intel detailing precise weaknesses in our allies' troop strength is the most This is so strange, this game. This will inevitably lead to heavy losses on our side. We need to put a lid on this. Rog. Understood. It seems like they're really trying to go all out with cinematics and not really worry too much about... I want this weapon again. And not really worry too much about, like, the characters or the story. It's like, make it look really cool. But not really give me anything to work with here. Alright, going loud. Boy, I see you. Highlighting targets now. I'm gonna hit it with some fire blasts. Kill confirmed. Do you get what I mean? Like, it seems like it's mostly cinematics more than anything else. And gameplay, because the gameplay is fun. I just wanna, I wanna, I want a good story. I don't care too much about visuals, even though, you know, visuals are important. That's why the old Modern Warfare games and the old Black Ops games still hold up, even though the graphics aren't their best. Because they really, really concentrate on the story of the actual game, rather than just trying to make it look cool. I mean, making it look cool is also really important.
I just threw a grenade, Hendrix. Don't go in. In the foot, mate. Hey. Get stuffed. Granada. Let's roll. All right. That was pretty cool. Wrapping up our sweep. I like how it's quick. It's quick, 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 quick. I hope we got a thick boy. Take cover. Okay. Get back. Hendrix, you hit? No, I got it. Like you wouldn't be hit that close range. What the hell? Who's shooting? Someone with a high caliber rifle. Okay. All right, mate. Good shooting. You guys okay back there? Yeah, wonderful. Agent Kane? All fine and done. I told you to stay up top. It seemed like you could use some help. Besides, you two made so much noise, every 54 eye foot soldier is going to be scrambling to respond. Well, let's get we out. We need to get back on track. We've got to shut down their comms before they figure out what the fuck's going on. Okay. Introducing Follow a lot me. of characters, isn't it? After you. Okay. Lockdown. They routed all comms through a secondary relay. Can you locate okay. it? Uh, give me a second. Got it. You should be able to upload the scrambler from there. We'll regroup at the black station. Sounds like a plan. Let's move. Okay. So, Kane, what's the plan once we reach the black station? Strike and strip. In fact, I think we're going to end it there. Let me pop my head up. So, so far, I feel like I like the gameplay. I like the visuals. The story isn't really pulling me in all that much. I'm just like, nah, okay, it's fun to play. It feels, um, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's something off about it right now. It just doesn't feel like I'm connected to it. The characters seem cool. But just as you're starting to get to know one, it's pushing you to another one as well. So you're not really getting to know the characters. I'm very much a character-focused person. I read a lot of fantasy and sci-fi novels, which really concentrate on character development. And when you kind of jump between all these characters like this, it's kind of like, all right, cool. Like You're introducing these characters, but let me learn about them. Let me, let me understand who they are, what their motives are before we move on and you get that with the old modern warfare and the old black ops where they really kind of let the characters be second to story but the story pulls out the motives and the and the um and the importance of these characters and i don't feel like it's doing that with me right now it, it feels like it just needs a little bit more not so much i don't know a little bit more character development that's what i want more than anything it's still good i'm still enjoying it it's not bad by any means it's just it's missing that little bit of extra flavor, you know, if that makes sense. Uh, members, you're amazing. I love you. I couldn't do this without you. Links down below to all the socials, including the two links to this card, the military discard and the geek discard. Also link down below to my podcast and my Twitch stream where I stream Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, which means I am live right now if you're watching this, the premiere. And uh, we're going to be playing Borderlands 3 and you get to interact with us while we play. It's going to be a ton of fun. And I may be wearing this bad boy. <laughs> It's going to be a ton of fun, guys, so definitely come and join us over on the Twitch channel. And if you cannot make it during the Twitch channel, if you're not watching this during the premiere, the Twitch will be uploaded onto my second YouTube channel, link down below. Uh, until next time, guys, I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.